something big there and it's got away. Ah! I'm almost certain that was a black piranha. Ah, close, but not close enough. But having everyone fishing has paid off. The guy in the next boat has just caught something and passed me his line. Okay, it's a black piranha. It's not one of the real monsters. In fact, it's quite average size. Although you can see, it still has quite a snap on it and a superlative set of gnashes. Ah! Oh! Really mistimed that quite badly. Oh, ow! <laughs> well, it was about time that happened. I've been catching piranhas for a long, long time and I've not been bitten yet, but that's my first piranha battle scar. The black piranha is really very distinctive, very dark in colour, but it has these incredible red eyes. It has a very, very stocky body. You look at it in cross-section, if you look at it end on, you can see it's almost bulldog-like in appearance. But because it's not very long, it's very manoeuvrable. It can move incredibly quickly, moving in towards food, taking a bite, and then instantly swimming away at great pace. They don't actually hunt in packs, as is traditionally believed, or in shoals. Actually, they tend to hunt on their own. Now, um, looking at this one here, you can see it's a little bit tatty around the tail and around these fins here. And the reason for that is that other piranhas will actually come in and take big chunks out of the fins. They are cannibalistic, they will eat their own kind, and they'll certainly waste no opportunity to munch down big chunks of these fins, but leaving the fish alive. And let me just see if I can show you these teeth. Look at those, absolutely fearsome. the black piranha with its burning red eyes and some of the sharpest teeth on earth. It truly is one of the most fearsome hunters of the flooded forest. And gotta go on the deadly 60.